Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a random password generator. Um, yeah, let's start. So first thing you're going to need is a scanner. Scanner. Um, I'm not very good at typing by the way. You can obviously ski that. Um, So this is essentially going to, this program is going, essentially going to um, ask you how long you want the password to be, and, oh my god, just do not add that. It's going to ask you how long you want the password to be, and it's going to print out a random, a password that's randomly generated that is that long. This can be used for actual, practical use, unlike other things I make. Um, so type. And then we're going to create a for loop. It's I. This is going to be zero. Go to I plus plus. I'm going to go ahead and just system out and print line. Uh, let's make it char. Above this, we're gonna have um, character equals uh, int math dot random um, times. This is the actual report. So first, you want to look at the ASCII values, and you want to uh, find out what you want your uh, random generated or password generated to generate things between. So, um, oh, that's hard to understand. Um, so if you wanted it to generate random uh, letters, you could do 65 to 90. And that, and, and yeah. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 33 and 126, because that's all the keyboard, all the things. Now, to use math.random, you have to make sure that you use your offset, our offset from zero is 33. You need to subtract 120, or the, your top number, and then you subtract it from uh, your offset. So it's actually offset. Uh, so we can do this, so it would be 93 plus 33. So this is gonna bring, it's gonna uh, generate a random uh, double, I think, or something like that. And then it's gonna multiply it by 93. So that means, the lowest, I mean the highest thing, uh, whatever. I'm not even going to explain it because I don't really know how it works. But you got to make sure you m subtract the offset from the the biggest number that you want. Anyway, um, now we're going to make, um, oops, uh, we need to make this an int. And then we make this char. CH is equal to uh, character character. Oh. I think that's it. And then we should be done here. Other than uh, equals a keyboard dot next int. And I think we should be done. Keyboard dot next int. Alright, okay, so this is going to do uh, we're going to, it says type length of the password, and this is going to be that number. And then this for loop's going to run, you know, that amount of times. Uh, it's going to add one every single time. It's going to generate a random int between 33 and 126. Um, and then it's going to take that ASCII value and actually make it into a character. So it's going to take the number, this number, and it's going to put it into this character. Um, and it's going to go ahead and print out that character every single time. Oh, you actually make sure that it's print, not print line. Yeah, all right. So we can just go ahead and run it. Uh, oops. Uh, this isn't going to be an int. There we go. There we go. Uh, so if I want a password like eight long, 
What did I do wrong? I... What? This happened last time, except uh, yeah, I just did that. Still does it. One second here. Oh wait, so the problem was, I forgot to put uh, this in parentheses. Uh, we have to multiply it by, I don't really know what this does, but we have to convert this into an int, and I didn't, so you have to make sure you put those two parentheses there. It's a learning process for everybody. And if we do this, it should work, so if you want it to be 8, there we go. We got E6 something, TK, whatever that's called, and the capital EB. Uh, if you want to run this 900 times, you can. And there's your password. That's effectively impossible, impossible to uh, hack into. You can use password for like your Google account, your other accounts. Yeah. Um, that's another thing we can do, and it's just something fun. If you scroll down, you can see that it actually goes up all the way up to 255. And so, if we just go ahead and go to 255. We need to put in 222. And if we do this, a little bit broken. But if we put in 600, it gives us a much more random looking password. And if we just go ahead and go 255 and 0, it might crash. And here we go. This is, and it, yeah, it certainly broke my little uh, program here. Um, uh, that's how you do that. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, goodbye.